Nature at large and in each of her kingdoms presents three forms of being, that which is useful to others, and that which is predatory, and that which is inert, neither good nor bad, from the viewpoint of others. In the human being, all three forms of life struggle for survival or predominance, and the embodied entity called the soul suffers or enjoys from its participation in nature. That is to say, from the commingling of the spiritual, the psychic, and the elemental in him, as in a cosmos. All these constituents are of the same origin or essential nature. All are in the same whirlpool of souls, all struggling alike, under the same law of progress, all representing one or another stage in their evolution. All being thus of one origin and destiny, man represents a third stream which, being self-conscious because of his partial reflection of both the extremes or pairs of opposites, falls into the error of identifying self, now with one, now with the other of the two mutually opposing streams. For we forget that in order for there to be an ascending current of evolution, there must be its opposite, the descending. When plunged by the separation called death into worlds subjective, the ego loses all consciousness of the worlds of matter, and so vice versa. Periodically the same phenomenon occurs during sleep and its opposite, waking human life. In neither is there memory of the other state's activities. Only as we enter or leave the body, whether at death, in sleep, or in those profound self-induced states variously called meditation and concentration on self, as distinct from any and all states, any and all forms, is there any possibility of true clairvoyance. What, then, is this true clairvoyance, which is the real theme of every Savior? And what is the obstacle which bars us from its realization? The enemy is addiction to objects of sense, or the like addiction to subjects of the mind. Both are the identification of self with what is seen. True clairvoyance is seeing the self by the self. Hence, the enemy has to be overcome by each, for himself, the realization of the identity of the self with the seer in all states and forms of existence. <laughs>